Twitter is one of the world's most popular social media networks. Several high-profile executives have worked for the company throughout the years, including former CEO Dick Costello, former CFO Ali Rogani, and former CLO Vijay Agati. These three CEOs recently made waves when they filed a lawsuit against Twitter. According to the lawsuit, Twitter violated its fiduciary obligation to its shareholders by misleading them about the platform's growth potential. The executives argue, in particular, that Twitter provided inaccurate and deceptive statistics regarding its user engagement and growth in order to artificially raise its stock price. According to the lawsuit, Twitter's management team was aware of the platform's issues with user growth and engagement, but neglected to inform shareholders of this information. Instead, they continued to laud the platform's development potential and encourage investors to purchase more shares. The executives were also allegedly punished against for raising concerns about the company's procedures, according to the lawsuit. The complaint specifically alleges that Costello, Rogani, and Gaddy were ostracized and eventually fired after raising concerns about Twitter's business practices. There are several reasons why this lawsuit is relevant. For starters, it emphasizes the significance of transparency and honesty in corporate governance. In order to make informed investment decisions, shareholders rely on accurate information from corporations. Management teams put investors at risk when they deliver inaccurate or misleading information. Second, the case offers information on Twitter's leadership team's internal dynamics. The fact that three high-level executives felt forced to sue their former employer implies that major conflicts and tensions existed within the organization. Finally, the case raises concerns about Twitter's future orientation as a firm. With so much uncertainty and turbulence at the executive level, it is unclear what the social media platform's future holds. Will Twitter be able to recover its shareholders' trust and forge a new course? The only way to know is to wait and see. This case gives an opportunity for ESL students to develop reading and comprehension skills while learning about an important business topic. To properly comprehend the essay, you must first understand core business terms and ideas such as fiduciary duty, shareholder, and business practices. Reading actively, rather than passively, is one effective approach for enhancing reading comprehension. This entails questioning the material, formulating predictions, and summarizing essential points. Longer pieces can be made more approachable and digestible by breaking them up into smaller sections. Another effective strategy is to concentrate on unusual words and phrases. When you come across a term or phrase that you don't immediately grasp, try to figure out what it means based on context cues. Look up the word in a dictionary or an online resource if necessary. Finally, it is critical to practice often in order to improve one's reading skills over time. Reading a variety of things, such as news stories, books, and academic papers, can aid in the development of understanding and vocabulary. Taking notes and sharing the subject with others can also help to strengthen learning and retention. Finally, the recent lawsuit filed against Twitter by its former CEO, CFO, and CLO underlines the significance of transparency and honesty in corporate governance. This article provides an opportunity for ESL students to develop reading and comprehension skills while learning about current business events. ESL students can develop the abilities needed to excel in business and beyond by actively engaging with the material, focusing on unfamiliar words and phrases, and practicing on a regular basis.